Hi yogis, welcome back to your mat. So today I just want to thank you all for tuning in, working on your body, your mind, and just unrolling your mat. I know it's tough times, it's tough for me too, but hey, we're all here. Okay yogis, let's begin this practice by grounding our energy. Choose a comfortable seat, and then close down the eyes. Deepen your breath. Feeling your lungs and your chest cavity. Your rib cage expanding and somehow your belly is soft. Allowing to feel your breath through your belly. Don't worry, we'll, we're gonna get to engage that belly later. For now, just soften. Notice if you're holding on to tension in your shoulders, your neck. Soften with every breath. Okay, now together, let's take a deep inhale through the nose, counting one, two, three, four. Hold that breath. Exhale in one, two, three, four. Hold. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Feeling gratitude in your heart. And just plain love for yourself for whatever you're doing, however you're managing your thing, your life, your business, work, yoga. You're doing an amazing job and just know that. Gratitude for what you are doing. Okay, yogis, now flicker the eyes open and let's lay down flat on our backs. We're gonna begin our core warm up. First, squeeze your knees into the chest. Rock and roll from side to side. Softening your neck, your spine. And then happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Spreading your feet apart. Just noticing your inner thighs softening. Maybe your knees are getting closer to the mat. Maybe they're not. It's okay. Try to keep the sacrum down on the mat. So your spine is nice and long. Okay. Now lift the legs up to the sky. Grab the backs of the legs and begin to rock and roll front to back on your spine. Try to make it all the way up to your boat pose and balance there. Roll it back and come back to your boat. Navasana. Roll back and boat. Now you can grab the backs of the legs. You can try and grab your, your ankles or your calves. The higher your hands go, the harder it'll be, but give it a try. Okay, keep rock and rolling. You got about eight more. Notice that squeeze on the belly button when you have to hold and find your balance. Okay, yogis, five more. Woo. Two more. On the last one, hold your boat. 
Maybe you take a stretch, grabbing the backs of the legs, pulling your legs closer to you. Maybe you let go, trying to keep the legs nice and straight, spine nice and long. Keep pulling your belly in. Five more breaths. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your back down. Your legs stay at a 45 degree angle. Try to reach the fingers towards the toes. Try to lift as high as you can. Maybe you make it all the way up to kind of like a boat pose, like a demi boat. You got eight more. Two more. And one, bring the hands behind the head, squeeze the right knee into the chest and twist. Bicycle crunches right here, side to side. Try to move slow for now. Really squeezing the belly in, trying to keep your low back pressing down. Got about eight more on each side. Three more. Now twist towards the right and hold it here. Keeping the twist, extend the right leg forward and then pull it back in. Straighten up and then pull. You got eight more like this. Keep pulling the belly in, strong core. Lower back is pressing down, shoulders are high. One more, bring big toes to touch, and then lift the legs up to the sky, bring both shoulders pointing up. Nice. Now squeeze the left knee into the chest, twist towards the left, lower the right leg down, bicycle crunches. You got 10 of these. Three more. And now twist towards the left side and hold. Straighten up your left leg, pull it back in. Straight leg, pull it back in. Eight more. Nice, one more, big toes touch, lift the legs up, shoulders high. Nice, crunch up and hold here, lower the legs down to a hover, and lift. Try to keep your low back pressing down at all times. Keep your elbows nice and open, three more. Boat pose, yogis. Grab the backs of the legs and roll yourself up. Hold it here. This time, let go of your legs. Try to pull your legs in with your core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cross the ankles, box pose. Once you're there, take your cat and cow. Drop your belly, lift the gaze, and then round your spine, let it go. Come back to a neutral spine, and then extend the right leg up. Lift the heel as high as you can, your gaze as high as you can, and then tuck your bottom toes, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and stack the hip. Circles if you want in stillness, if that's what you need, but try to press your right shoulder back. That's towards your back foot. Bring your knee into the chest. Inhale, lift the back up, three-legged dog. Knee to your nose, salamba anjane, lower the back knee down, lift the arms up, breathe in. Lower the hands back down, three-legged dog. 
Lift the right leg high. One more time, knee to nose. Salamba Anjane. Lower the back knee down. Lift the arms high. Nice, lizard lunge. Lift the back knee, keep both hands inside the foot, and then tippy the fingers, press your heart open. Runner's twist, lift your right arm to the sky. Lower the back knee down, crooked monkey. Pull the back heel into the bum, open up your right shoulder. Don't dump on your left arm. Slowly bring it back to your runner's twist. And then standing splits. Lift your left leg high. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chair pose, Udkadasana. Squeeze the inner thighs. Lift your arms up. And then palms to the heart, twist to the right side. If you want, you can just open arm twist, however you feel right now. Inhale, lift both arms up, chair pose, and then twist to the left side. Inhale, brings you back to center. Exhale and fold. Halfway up, walk the feet back, box pose. Cat and cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Round and let go. Two more. Okay, back to a neutral spine. Extend the left leg back. Lift it as high as you can. Lift the gaze high. And then tuck the bottom toes under. Three-legged dog. Knee to your nose. Lean forward. Inhale, lift. Knee to your nose, Salamba Anjane. Lower the back knee down, lift the arms up. Lower the hands back down, three-legged dog. Knee to your nose, Salamba Anjane. One more time. And then lower the hands inside the foot, lizard lunge. TP the fingers, puff up the chest, try to lower your hips spot down. Squeeze your front knee into the shoulder or the tricep. <sighs> nice. Runner's twist, left arm to the sky. Lower the back knee down and pull the back heel into the bum. Lean back with your left shoulder. It's okay if your left knee fans open. Stay strong on your right arm. Slowly let it go. Back to your runner's twist. Standing splits. Two breaths. Chair pose, Udkatasana. Palms to the heart, twist to the left. Bring it back to center, chair, and then twist to the right. Slowly bring it back to center, deep inhale, keep bending the knees. Exhale and fold. Walk the feet back, box pose. From your box pose, land the chin and the chest down. Option to slither through or tuck the toes under, lift the knees high. Child, child's pose when you're done. Rock your forehead from side to side. Give yourself a both breaths here. Coyotes, downward facing dog. Now begin to walk your feet towards the palms into your forward fold. You can always float the feet. Soften the backs of the legs. Let the crown of the head be heavy. 
Option to grab opposite elbows, interlace, however you want. Okay, you heel to your feet in to touch. Slowly roll yourself up to standing. Surya Namaskara A, lift the arms up, gaze up. Ikam, Dway, exhale and fold. Trini, halfway up. Shut body, walker float back, Chaturanga. Pancha, upward facing. Shut, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Once again, thinking about that gratitude of having a body to move, the will, the discipline. Okay, yogis. Bend the knees, walk or float, top of the mat. Sapta. Ashtao, fold. Nava, rise. Samastitihi. Ekam. Dwe. Trini. Shadvari. Pancha. Shut. One breath. Sapta, top of the mat. Ashtao, fold. Nava, rise. Samastitihi. Ekam. Dwai. Trini. Shadvari. Pancha. Shut. Sapta, top of the mat. Ashtao. Nava. Samastitihi. Let's take a couple more on our own. If you want to wait for us in a downward facing dog, cool. You do that. Of course, bring your handstands in. If that is what you need today. Let's all meet in a downward facing dog. Now from your down dog, bend the knees, walk or flow, top of the mat. Fold. Rise up to standing, arms up, gaze up. Palms to the heart. Surya B. Bend the knees, let the arms up, gaze up, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, walker, shoot it back. Upward facing, downward facing. Now step the right leg forward, warrior one. Pivot the back foot flat and rise. Take two breaths here to notice your hips. The weight on the knife of the edge, of the knife of the foot, the back foot. One more. Exhale, brings you back down. High to low, push up. Step the left leg in, warrior one. Same deal, three breaths. Exhale, brings you back down. From your down dog, bend the knees, walk or flow, top of the mat. Fold. Chair pose. Exhale and fold it back down. Halfway up, walk or shoot it back. Upward facing, 
downward facing step the right leg forward warrior one one breath inhale exhale bring two back down step the left leg forward warrior one exhale chaturanga from your down dog chair pose top of the mat make your way Exhale and fold. Chaturanga. Last one. Right leg up to the sky. You can hop switch your step, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga your way. Back to your downward facing dog. <sighs> now together, let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Let it out through your mouth. <sighs> <sighs> okay, yogis. Three-legged dog, right leg up to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift it back up. Knee to opposite tricep. Fall in triangle. Lift your left arm to the sky. Lift your hips high. Okay, lower the left hand down. Wild thing from here. So three-legged dog and flip it over. Lizard lunge. Foot outside the hands. And charge. Biceps by the ears. Hold it here for three. Two, and one. Standing splits, left leg high. One-legged mountains pose. Squeeze the left knee to the chest and rise. Crescent lunge, big step back. Breathe in. And downward facing dog, lower the hands down. And begin to walk the hands into the feet, back of the mat. Heel to your feet into touch. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale and fold. Walk it forward, plank pose. Stay here or three optional push ups. Downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky, knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Knee to opposite. Thread it under, fall in triangle. Back to your three-legged dog. Wild thing, flip it up and over. Lizard lunge. Charge your lizard, biceps by the ears. Standing splits. One-legged mountains pose. Jeez. Step it back, crescent lunge, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands back into the toes. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Exhale and fold. Back to your plank pose. Optional push ups or hold. Downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky. Knee to the nose. Lift. Knee to the opposite, thread it under. Three-legged dog, wild thing, chamakarasana. Lizard lunge, charge. Biceps by the ears, three, two, and one. Standing splits, one-legged mountains pose. Crescent lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out. Downward facing. Walk the hands back. Chair pose on your inhale. Exhale and fold. Plank pose. Hold or push ups. Downward.
downward facing dog. Left leg to nose. Lift it high. Opposite tricep. Thread it under. And then three legged dog. Wild thing. Charging lizard. Three, two, and one. Standing splits. One legged mountain. Crescent lunge. Deep inhale. Downward facing. Walk the hands back. Chair pose. Exhale and fold. Plank pose. Hold or push ups. Downward facing dog. One last time on each side. Right leg up. Knee to nose. Lift it up, knee to opposite, and thread it under. Three legged. Wild thing. Charge your lizard. Biceps by the ears. Standing splits. One legged mountain pose. Crescent lunge. Exhale, downward facing. To the back of the mat, chair pose, inhale, exhale, and fold. Plank pose, you got three, two, and one. Downward facing. Left side, knee to nose. Left knee to opposite. Three legged. Chamakarasana. Wild thing. Charge your lunge. Standing splits. One legged mountain. Crescent lunge. Breathe in. Downward facing. Walk it back. Chair. Exhale and fold. Plank pose. Three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. <sighs> okay, yogis. Amazing. Hmm. Okay, now lift the right leg up to the sky. Knee to opposite tricep. Inhale, lift it back up. Knee to opposite. One more time, thread it under, falling triangle. Now lower the left hand down, pull the knife edge of the foot closer to your mat, and let your right foot land down. Your back heel is lifted, and lift your right arm high. Try to keep both legs straight. Breathe in, D by T, stretch, breathe out. Lower both hands down, back to your three-legged dog. Knee to same tricep, tap. Inhale, lift it back up. Knee to the tricep. Lift. Knee to the tricep and hold. Leaning to the left hand, side plank. Lift the knee, lift the right arm high. Lift the hips as high as you can. Three, two, and one wild thing, Chamakarasana. You can take your full wheel right in here if you want to. Charge your lizard, make your way back. Step the foot outside the hands, and then take your biceps by the ears. Nice. If you want to, you can lean forward and hover the back foot just a little bit. Keep bending the front leg for three, two, and one. Airplane the arms, warrior C. So it's time to straighten up the bottom leg. Squeezing the shoulder blades, the triceps. Bend and straighten the front leg or the bottom leg. Three more. Take it as slow as you can. Two, and one. 
One-legged mountain's pose. Squeeze the left knee into the chest. And then take your eagle wrap. So make sure to finish up your leg wrap first. And then wrap your left arm underneath. Lift your elbows away from the chest. And breathe. Now squeeze the top knee into the elbow. So unravel the legs and squeeze. Make that connection, actively squeezing for three, two, and one. Cactus up the arms, flying tree. Knee to the tricep, hold. Kundalini, palms to the heart. Pull the heel into the bum and hold it here. Revolve dancer's pose. Right hand grabs the foot behind you. Press into the foot or into the hand and lift the back knee higher. This is your Parivrita Natarajasana. One more breath. Crescent lunge. Step it back. Palms to the heart and twist. Take your gaze high. Allow your spine to soften, but pull your belly in. Slowly rise up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Side angle pose. Runner's twist, switch up the arms. Now bring your gaze down, revolved half moon. Walk your left hand forward and lift the back heel. Squeeze those inner thighs. Make sure your hips are in line. And then stack the right shoulder on top of the left. Three, two, and one crescent lunge, and then reverse. Right hand behind you, left bicep by the ear. Take a stretch. Standing splits. You can stay here in your standing splits or work your handstands. If you have a wall nearby, you can take that. Got about eight breaths. Three more. Two more. Downward facing dog, everyone. Walk the feet back and then lower down to the knees, camel pose, Ustrasana. Bring your left hand behind you or to your heel and then puff at the chest, right bicep by the ear. Try to open up your heart, pushing your hips forward. Breathe. Slowly bring it back to center, and I'll switch it out, either behind your low back or to your heel. Slowly bring it back to center, downward facing dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Walk the hands back into the toes. Chair pose, Udkatasana, breathe in. We've got three breaths here, sitting down lower, but make sure to lean back with your hips and your chest. Palms to the heart, next exhale, twist to the left side. Nice, slowly bring it back to center, twist to the right. Now extend your right arm high, bring your gaze down. Lift the right heel away from the ground. Let your left hand grab the outer edge of the foot, revolved hand to foot. You're gonna rise up with that right leg onto your chest. Maybe you extend the leg all the way. Nice. 
nice. Figure four, chair, slowly cross it over. Palms to the heart, keep bending that standing leg a lot. Interlace the fingers to your low back. Stay here, nice and steady. Squeeze your shoulder blades to touch. And now take a big step with your right foot, warrior one. You've got time to fix your feet here. There you go. Puff up your chest, lean back, open up your heart, and then humbly bow forward. Keep your shoulders inside the knee. If you feel like you need a little bit more, keep the bend on the front leg and just hover the back foot. Try to keep that knee and shoulder connected for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the foot, hands inside the foot. Maybe your right piece fingers, grab the big toe, side plank. Don't worry if you can't do that. Maybe you keep your knee bent, maybe you straighten up. Whatever you choose, lift the hips a little bit higher. Now we got a half splits here or a full splits, Hanuman. Try to slide the heel all the way to the top of your mat and land softly. If you're on your half Hanuman, your back knee is bent and just folding over your front leg. If you're on your full splits, try to bend that back knee and reach with your same side hand for your back foot. Okay, yogis. Slowly low, lower the back foot if it's up. And then make your way to your half Hanuman because we're coming up into a crescent lunge. So bend the front knee, tuck the back toes under, and then rise up. Exhale, palms to the heart and twist as deep as you can, really shortening the distance between the knee and the armpit. Open up your arms. Top hand to the small of your back, bind it up. Maybe you can reach the bottom wrist, or, or fingers, rather. The bottom wrist grabs, or the bottom hand grabs the top wrist. Nice, bring your gaze down. Revolve bird of paradise. Step the left foot forward, and then rise up with your right leg. If you lose your bind, just lift and take a twist. This is your peak pose, so enjoy it. Stay for a little bit longer. Try to find your balance. And then slowly make your way to your downward facing dog. Okay, yogis, downward facing dog. Left side, left leg up to the sky. Knee to opposite tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, lift the back up. Knee to opposite tricep. Last one, lift. And then thread it under fallen triangle. Lift your right arm to the sky, puff up the chest, reach it high. And then lower the right hand down. Pull your left heel closer to your mat. Take that twist. Be high on the left, on the back, ball of the foot. Left arm to the sky, IT band stretch. I know it's a tough one, yes you can. And then back to your three-legged dog. Left leg up to the sky, knee to same side tricep. Inhale, left, same side tricep. Left, same side tricep. Lean into the right hand, side plank, Vasishtasana. Lift the hips as high as you can. Yes, take your knee with you. Three, two, wild thing. Chamakarasana, land the foot behind you. If you took your full wheel, take it again. Slow. 
slowly take it back. Three-legged dog, left leg up to the sky, and then charge your blizzard. Step the foot outside the hand, biceps by the ears, hold here. If you're looking for more, hover the back toes for five, four, three, two, and one. Airplane the arms, warrior C. That bottom leg is straight, your back heel is lifting, shoulder blades touching, Belly is pulling in, three, and you want to move, bend and straighten the bottom leg. Of course, you can stay still, two more. I feel like I need to move. Two, and one, one-legged mountain pose, squeeze that right knee in, and then eagle wrap. Wrap your right arm underneath, lift the elbows away from the chest, squeeze those inner thighs, Internally rotating the legs. Unravel the legs, pull the knee into the elbows, Ooh. and actively squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cactus the arms, knee to the tricep, flying tree. Three, two, Kundalini squat, palms to the heart. Revolve dancer's pose, left hand grabs. Notice your back knee, lift it a little bit higher. Crescent lunge, slowly land, lift the arms up. Palms to the heart and twist. Elongate your spine. Enjoy this twist. Maybe give yourself a smile. Rise up, warrior two, open it up. Inhale, reverse, side angle pose. So this is the only side angle we've got on our flow. We took it on side A. This is our side B, so enjoy it. Take a deeper, one more breath. Runners twist, switch up the arms. And then take your gaze down, revolved half moon. Once you're there, notice your hips. Square them, lift the back heel, squeeze the inner thigh, straighten up the back leg, and then extend the left arm high. Gaze goes up. Three, this is a tough one. Two, and one, crescent lunge, reverse, left hand behind you, right bicep by the ear. Standing splits. Either you stay here on your standing splits, or you take some handstand hops. Whatever you took on the other side, mimic what you did. Three more breaths. Downward facing dog yogis. That is where we'll meet. And then begin to walk the hands into the toes. Ooh, ah, forward fold. Chair pose. Ooh, good dasana. Breathe in. And out. Stay. Two more breaths. And then bring your palms to the heart, twist to the right side first. Bring it back to center on the inhale, keeping your knees bent, and then twist to the left. Extend your left arm high, take your gaze down, and then lift the left heel. Grab the outer edge of the foot and then rise up. Revolved hand to foot. Option to keep the knee bent or straighten up the leg. Allow yourself to feel this twist. Figure four chair, cross it over. 
palms to the heart. Keep bending your standing leg a lot. Interlace the fingers to your low back. Step it forward, make your way to a warrior one. Pivot the back foot flat. When you're ready, puff up the chest, gaze goes high. Humbly bow forward. If you're looking for a little bit more, hover the back foot, but keep the connection knee and shoulder. If your foot is up, lower it back down. Vasishtasana, side plank. Lower the left hand down, or the right hand down. Left piece fingers, grab the big toe. Optional. Now if you do, maybe you can keep your knee bent. That's fine, maybe you can extend. Okay. Full or half splits. Make your way there, begin to slide your heel forward. If you're taking your half version, lower the back knee down. If you grab the back foot on the other side, grab it again. Same side hand. Okay, you slowly begin to make your way to a crescent lunge. Your back knee is down, you're tucking your back toes under, bend your front knee, and then rise up. Breathe in. Palms to the heart and twist. Deepest twist yet. Open up your wings. If you have a full bind, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, just bring your top hand to the small of your back. You're trying to roll your top shoulder back. Revolved bird of paradise. Lower your gaze down. Step your back foot in. And then you're lifting up with your left knee. If you don't have a bind, keep a twist. With your right hand, grab the outer edge of your left leg. Remember, this is your peak pose, the one you hold. The one you get to be grateful for. And notice where your mind is going right now. What you're thinking. If you can't wait to come down, hold it a little bit longer. This is you acting in a tough position. Maybe that means life. Slowly make your way back down. You did awesome. Downward facing dog, whatever your exit is. Take it gracefully. <sighs> Downward facing dog, yogis. <sighs> now lower down to the knees, cross the ankles. Sit over your feet and extend the legs forward. Now we're taking three last back bends. If you want, you can take bridge pose, full wheel, or a camel pose, Ustrasana, which we already did. I think I'm gonna do that, so take three, okay? You should be on your way to number one. Number two. And 
number three. Slowly transition between your back bends, windshield wiper the knees first. So always resist the temptation to hug the knees in. First you need to neutralize the spine. And then slowly begin to pull one knee in. Noticing that transition, the spinal movement. And then the other leg in. Now you can rock your side, your body from side to side. Give your legs a nice squeeze. <sighs> Close down the eyes, extend the legs. Let your arms be soft, palms facing up. Shavasana. Bring your left, left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Feeling proud of everything you do, everything you have achieved in your life, in your yoga practice. Proud of the space you gave yourself, your mind, your body. And overall, feeling that gratitude, not only because you're blessed, but everything you've achieved in your life. Be grateful for that. Thank you so much for joining my practice today. It was a pleasure having you. From my heart to yours, all this gratitude I have for you. Thank you. Namaste.